I'm about to piss some ninjas off. So if any of you lot around my age group, 30, 31 years old, you may remember watching a program called One on One. It used to air on a channel called Trouble and you could watch the channel Trouble on Sky. Maybe Telly West or NTL, I don't know, but I had Sky at my mum's house. So I used to watch a channel called Trouble and a program called One on One used to air on it. Now, I never knew this girl's name. Her name is Kyla Pratt in real life. I just knew her as Brianna or Brianna from that program called One on One. So this post was on Officially Urban and it just made me laugh. So Kyla Pratt will be celebrating 20 years of being engaged this year. So that means that she's actually quite old. Obviously, she still looks young, still looks in good shape and that. She must be like 40-something or minimum 38 years old. Um, but yeah, so she's celebrating 20 years of being engaged. And I thought this was so funny, you know. And right now I'm about to expose some ninjas. So this is only directed at people from the African-American community and the Black Caribbean community. Black African people, you're excluded. I'm going to let you lot off. Yeah, I'm going to get you lot in the next video. Yeah, so my Caribbeans. And African-American people, this video is directed at you lot. Demand them, yeah? So what happens in the black community? Like I said, exclude Africans. Man don't really want to commit like that, okay? But the women of all n n nationalities and that, you know, women always want some sort of status. I, I promise you, if women did not give a fuck about marriage, Unless it has something to do with religion and that, most people would not get married. Most people will get married because obviously religion and that. But if you take religion out of it, most men wouldn't want to get married. It's a fucking waste of money. So women, women always want that status. Women don't want to be known as the girlfriend for 50 years. After a couple of years, she wants to get engaged. Then she wants to get married and that. She wants to level up her status. Women are about leveling up status and that. That's why they want to date rappers and and footballers and men that are rich and that or whatever and especially men that with celebrity status and that they want to date those guys not because of their money because they want to level up their social status and that so you're not gonna have a girl a lot of women are not gonna accept being your girlfriend for 20 30 years after two years she wants to get engaged after five years she wants to get married and that so what happens is in the black community obviously caribbeans and african americans and that the man them don't want to get married probably because most of them are broke anyway so what the woman will say is, listen, yeah, I want to get married. I'm not going to be known as your girlfriend for the next 20 years and that. So she will start pushing for an elevation in status and that. So what the man them do to shut the woman up? And I've seen this. There's people in my family and people I know in my personal life. I've seen this many times. I know women that have been engaged for 15, 20 years. I can think of about three couples right now. The women will be pushing for an elevation in status and that. So to shut the women up, what the man then will do is they will propose and they will get engaged. So at least the woman feels like, oh, you know, I'm engaged and that. Then what they will do is they'll say, listen, yeah, money's a bit tight right now, which it is because they're wasting money on the fucking Mercedes and that. And they will just keep putting it off, keep putting it off, keep putting it off. And that's how these women in the African, sorry, yeah, in African-American community, and the Black Caribbean community, not the Africans, yeah, not normal Africans from Nigeria and wherever and that. The women from the African American community and the Black Caribbean community, this is why they are engaged for 20 years. Because the man then don't really want to get married. They just give the women that fi uh, fiancé status to shut them up. Shut them up. I know three couples right now, they're all older than me, obviously, and that. And they've been engaged, the women have been engaged for like 15 years. That woman will never get married, bro. I'm telling you right now. Any women watching this right now, I don't give a fuck how old you are. You, you could be 35. You could be 45. You could be 55. If you've been engaged for over 10 years, that guy is never, never, never going to marry you. Yeah? I'm not saying he don't love you. I, I'm, I'm not saying that you don't care about it. I'm not saying that. But... Are you not going to go through the ceremony? Are you not going to go and buy the dress and get married and walk down the aisle? No, it's not happening. Why the fuck would it take a man 15 years to walk down the aisle with your fat ass blood? <laughs> yeah. Jokes aside though, seriously, yeah, you, you're not, you're not, you're not getting married. You're not getting married. I will promise you. Like, 
Right, let me ask you this question right now, yeah? This girl, this Kyla Pratt girl on that, yeah? Like, she, she might be kind of broke because, I mean, I ain't seen her face for a long time and that, and a lot of people don't know how to maintain their money and that. But how, how, how much does it cost to get married? I know it's not the woman's job to pay for the wedding and that, but if she's married to a guy, I, I'm, I'm sure he's not just an electrician on £200, £300 a day. I'm sure he, I don't know who this guy is and that, but I'm sure he makes a little bit of money. I'm sure he's on, if you could put a number on his salary and that 200 grand upwards. I don't know who he is. But I'm sure he's just not some average guy that just works a nine to five and that. Yeah? Why does he need to have, have, have enough money to pay 10 grand or 20 grand or 30 grand for a wedding? You can't even finance it. Now, me, I don't believe in getting married, period. <laughs> my mum was watching that Say Yes to the Dress nonsense program the other day. And I'll say to my mum, mum. You know, yeah, like, there's these women buying these dresses for all three, five, ten grand and that on this program. Crazy money. Imagine buying a dress for three to ten grand to wear it for one day. Some of these women have the nerve and the cheek to have two dresses, five grand a piece. Why the fuck do you need two dresses in one day? How many of you people change your outfit twice in a day? <laughs> Let alone fucking, and, and, and your outfits don't cost that much money. So, certain people will get married, finance the wedding pay 20, 30 grand, and before they paid off the wedding, they got divorced. You're divorced, you're single, or at least not married to this person, but you're still paying off this uh, wedding. But there's certain people right now, they're paying off for a car that don't even exist on the road. It's been written off. They're literally still making payments on some fucking Mercedes that they can't even physically drive because the car doesn't actually exist. It is now the size of this fucking cocoa butter tub because it's been crushed by a machine. Imagine that. Ma imagine getting married, yeah? It's going to take you 10 years or five years to pay off this wedding and that and you get divorced within two years. You're paying off for something that you're not even, you know, using or, you know, you're not even in right now. So any of you gallon watching this right now, you know what? Even some of the Asian people and white people watching this right now. If you've been engaged for 10 to 15 years, that man is not marrying you, especially if the man is a black man. Yeah, I promise you. <laughs> Stay with us. Ton, no. Hopefully I didn't piss off too much people.